So it's important that we now get a tripartite partnership with government, private sector, and the academia. And as I said, the action is not, should no longer be centered in the urban, in the urban, uh, the urban center. It, we must now start devoting all these research institutes to our provincial and regional universities. <coughs> now, let's, let's take uh, rice because this is the most critical of all commodities. Rice. We will never be self-sufficient in rice for the very simple reason that we don't have enough hectares to produce the per capita demand of the people. We eat over 100 kilos of rice compared to the 50, 40 of other national. We are a huge rice today. But given the fragmented nature of our terrain, the archipelagic nature of our country, unlike Vietnam and Bangkok and Burma, one huge mass and blessed by the vast by the huge mango river that provides the water. We won't be able to be, to be self-sufficient rice. But we can we can produce rice to the extent that our shortfall we can finance. We can produce other products, have foreign exchange surplus to buy that short ball of rice. But we must endeavor to increase our yield per hectare. Our yield per hectare has been historically very long. It used to be just two tons per hectare. Now we are averaging three tons per hectare. You know, China is averaging seven to 12 tons per hectare because of the use of the hybrid seed, which they themselves develop. So it's really in the seeds, it's really in the planting materials and in the use of water. And we are, we are very poor in both in developing good planting materials and utilizing very scarce water resources. But we can do it. We can do it. Some of the best agriculture and Price technologies were here, are here. We train them here, we train them in the we train them in the rice. Field rice is probably one of the best regional rice institutes in Southeast Asia. And here holds the largest collection of rice species in the world. It's a huge gene bank, and we can leverage. That is the advantage that the presence to our advantage. So I say that, that just to show that we've got the natural endowments, we've got the people in this country, but we lack the direction, we lack the leadership, the leadership that will that will foster and convince people that the way for us to go forward. The way for us to be less poor is through the, through the transformative power of technology. Yeah, there, there's so, so much technology that, that can bring up our per capita, our per head uh, income. ICT. ICT is not the one, the biggest single sector that creates jobs in this country. This, I think, at present, they've close to 600,000 jobs. By 2016, their projection is that they'll be able to create 1.3 million jobs and generating about more than 53 billion US dollars in foreign exchange. They're not looking at not, at not only second but third tier cities to develop BPOs and call centers. So it has 
probably one of the most promising technologies ever, but we're sending very big signals to our investors. We already discussed with me with Mario about the evolution of CICT and it's uh, maybe it could, it could be a blessing in disguise that it's now with Mario. Let's see. But how we take advantage of ICT is up to us. Aquaculture, we're an archipelago, we're surrounded by more seawater than the United States. And aquaculture is prominent technology in raising all sorts of high value fish, tapula, ibas, pompano, vamos, instead of raising it in Laguna and in Taal, where fish kill is a natural consequence, we can raise it in the city and produce green. Yeah, in, in conclusion, perhaps let's think about it. It may it may be hard to accomplish overnight and we don't expect that to happen. But we must now change our business model, our model for for advancing our country's progress to us. And it cannot be, as my colleagues in the Senate have commented, that after 40 years, we have practically very little to show for our investments in science and technology in terms of lifting the new standards of our country. Maybe it's time to put the OST and SMP at the center of our economic development. Maybe that can become the transformative region we need after so many years. Especially when there's so many babies coming. And uh, they say that by 2020, we'll, we'll be 130 million people. So how are we going to? Feed them and clothe them and educate them. Maybe not in our classrooms are patently done. So. so think about that and let's help uh, Secretary Mario develop a true SD strategy that we raise our community standards. I have more salam.